Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I posted, Microsoft officially released Windows 11 25H2 to the release preview inside a channel late last month. So that means it's undergoing its final testing before public release, which I'm going to suggest is going to start at the beginning of next month. And because of that, Microsoft had initially announced that the ISO image files, the installation media, would be available the following week. But then as I posted, the release was delayed and that was without further explanation. And then in another update, Microsoft confirmed that the ISOs would be available soon without too much more info given. Now, just to let you know that as of late yesterday in my region, Microsoft has now officially made the 25H2 ISO image files available for download for Windows Insiders on Microsoft's official site. Now, just a quick side note, I'm not an insider, but if you head over to Windows Insider Preview Downloads, I'll leave this linked in the description. You can now get access to those 25H2 ISO image files. And if you haven't done so already, you'll be prompted to sign into your account to verify that you are a Windows Insider. So what you do once you have signed in is you'd head to the bottom of this page to the Select Edition section. And you'd use the drop-down menu to select Windows 11 Insider Preview. That's Preview Release Channel, Build 26200. You'd click on that option to get the download and... Apparently, it's about 7.1 gigabytes in size, the ISO image file. And obviously, with an ISO, you can create installation media of Windows 11 25H2. And now, because the ISO image files are now available to insiders, this is a good indication that if we head over to download Windows 11 for the stable version, this is a good indication that those ISOs are going to become available on this page very soon. And as I've mentioned previously, this will be changed to Windows 11 2025 update and the version will change to 25H2. And this is a early clue that the ISO image files will be made available to the general public. And you would then be able to use the installation assistant to update to 25H2. If you so wish, you can create installation media and here is where you would download the ISO and when this does change, obviously Microsoft will start making the update available to the general public through the Windows Update page. But that doesn't mean that it will be made available to everyone at the get-go through Windows Update. Especially if your machine then has a safeguard hold regarding drivers or hardware or something in that line or apps. But just keeping you guys posted... Because those ISOs are now available to insiders, which indicates that 25H2's release is just around the corner. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.